So there's this business of an object moving in a circle, and what's its acceleration? So the idea is, I, let's say I have an object, and it's moving with some speed in a particular direction, but it just so happens that its motion is in a circular trajectory. So the idea would be that if you saw it, it would look something like this. So the velocity vector is always pointing in the direction of motion, and the length of the velocity vector is not changing. That means the speed is constant. But as you can see, the direction is constantly changing orientation. So the path of the thing, let's see if we follow it along here. The path of the thing looks something like this, right? As it goes and goes and goes. And as it's going, the velocity vector points up at this point, and then it's over here, there, and then it's down there like that. And then by the time it gets over here, it's pointing that way. And in between, it's pointing every other direction. All right, let's go ahead and label these guys. Let's say this is velocity 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, all the way around. You can see velocity 1 points straight up. Velocity 2 is kind of over at an angle. Velocity 3 points to the left. You get the idea. 2, 3. And the point is, between 1 and 2, the velocity changed. How much did the velocity change? That would be delta v 1 to 2. And between 2 and 3, the velocity changed delta v 2 to 3. Now, I want to point out that the magnitude of the velocity didn't change but the direction changed. And the change in velocity is a vector that points, it's the vector you have to add to velocity one to get velocity two, right? Those two vectors add together. And so this is the change in the velocity. But if we look at the change in velocity all the way around, so uh, there's a velocity here and here and here and so on, and of course, if you do this mathematically, what you do is you make the number of velocity vectors very large and the time between them very small. And this, this shape approaches a circle as you get a very large number of intermediate velocities. And you can see that the overall change in velocity all the way around is an arc that looks something like this. So in the time it takes to go all the way around once, the change in velocity is actually the circumference of this sort of velocity circle. So the change in velocity has a magnitude of 2 pi v, and we divide by the change in time, which is the period of the motion, and you see that the acceleration magnitude is really nothing other than 2 pi v over the time. But wait a minute, what is the time? The time is 2 pi r divided by the speed. So that's 2 pi v divided by 2 pi r over v. The 2 pi's cancel, and you get v squared over r. And that is the answer. So it turns out the magnitude of the acceleration of something moving in a circle is nothing other than v squared divided by r.